The Tuscaloosa Chevrolet Sports Update with WVUA's Gary Harris. Good evening, everybody. Day number two of the SEC Media Days at the Winfrey Hotel in Hoover. The busiest of the three days because six teams were scheduled. Auburn, LSU, Florida, Arkansas, Kentucky, and Mississippi State. Now, Auburn's Gene Chiswick is just two years removed from a national championship with Cam Newton at quarterback, but AU struggled last year on offense, and after offensive coordinator Gus Malzahn departed for Arkansas State, the Tigers scrapped the spread and hired Scott Leffler as the OC. He's brought in a pro-style offensive attack, and Coach Chiswick says Leffler's experience working with quarterbacks has already paid dividends with the Tigers' young signal callers. And Scott's been great with developing quarterbacks. I think that's been kind of his forte. I think that's kind of what he's, even though he's a young coach, that's what he's been known for starting back when he coached the quarterbacks back at Michigan for seven years with Lloyd Carr. And I think that's, you know, that's a, a great comfort level with him. He played the position. He was really good at it. And it's been good to watch him work with our quarterbacks. All right, let's talk Mississippi State. First, the good. Dan Mullen is putting together winning seasons and capturing bowl game victories, and he's undefeated against in-state rival Ole Miss. Now the bad. In three seasons at Mississippi State, Ole Miss is the only SEC West team that Mullen's Bulldogs have defeated. And if they're ever going to take the next step, they're going to have to beat somebody else in the SEC West other than their rival Ole Miss Rebels. Some places, you know, that you're going to, uh, have some games off or some games that you could consider should be must-win games. You know, I don't think a lot of people look at, at the SEC schedules of every team and just check off, well, that's a win, that's a win, that's a win. You're looking at it saying, boy, that's going to be a tough battle, that's going to be a tough battle, and, and, it, and it goes throughout that. Well, Kentucky coach Joker Phillips believes last year's mediocre season is just a minor bump on the road to consistent success. The Wildcats made it to five straight bowl games from 06 to 2010, but regressed to a 5-7 and seven record last year. But Kentucky did end the year on a high note, beating Tennessee for the first time since 1984. The key, Phillips says, for 2012 will be the play of their quarterbacks, mainly Morgan Newton. They have to be able to handle the stage when the lights are turned on in the SEC. We got to get our quarterbacks back to doing is managing what we call O. Okay, and I'll explain to you what the, what that means. Okay, quarterback comes up, sees a blitz coming from this side, he slides his protection this way. Well, the tackles decides I didn't get it, I didn't hear him really well. Well, Jadavian Clowney's over here, he slides out instead of in. Jadavian County's coming at him. That's an <laughs> moment. <laughs> Definitely got to keep those kind of moments. To minimum. On Tuesday, the SEC welcomed the new kids on the block. First year Texas A&M coach Kevin Sumlin says his goal is to win right now, despite being placed in the toughest division in college football. Texas A&M joins the SEC West, which is home to the last three BCS national champions. Still, someone is confident that A&M can and will hold its own. Uh, our, my realistic expectations are to win. And, uh, you know, we, we, I've said that from day one. You know, everybody talks to me and acts like, you know, I didn't know what I was getting into when I took the job. You know, we had already entered into the SEC and, under the agreement when I took the job. And Missouri coach Gary Pinkle says his team won't be intimidated playing in the SEC either. Pinkle says there's a perception that Missouri has played a bunch of high school teams. He says the Tigers know they have to earn respect in the conference, but they've already played in the tough Big 12. Pinkle says Missouri fans have gone beyond excitement over playing in the SEC and have become downright fanatical about it. For our fan base, is, uh, our fans are so excited about being part of this league, and it's, uh, it's, been, a, 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 it's been really fun to kind of watch that. And uh, I think that just says, you know, the, the statement there is, you know, and I, and I feel it over and over again since January, you know, as, as, we've, if we've, as we've gone through this whole year as a member of the SEC, is that, that just the great respect that they have uh, nationally for this league. And tonight at 10, our Todd Hoyer will have much more on the Auburn Tigers, plus we'll hear from LSU's Les Miles and Arkansas's John L. Smith. I'll see you then. The News at 6 is back after this. This has been the Tuscaloosa Chevrolet Sports Update on WVUA. Roll, Chevy, roll.